now we're going to see the electrical potential energy here in electrostatics. So we have, let's say here, charge, Q1, and here, Q2. Um, remember the difference between the potential and electrical potential energy. Potential is just the voltage, that is the difference um, from here to here. Very, it is, um, voltage is actually the electric field or the line integral of the electric field dot dl. This means line integral. And the electrical potential energy is uh, quite the same as work. We have work is equal to force times distance, dot distance actually. And it is work is the line integral of the force dot uh, distance or let me put or the L. Now I want to know what is the work that it is done when I put a charge close to here. Let's indicate that they are both the same, that they have the same charge. Or what is the work that I need to do if I am moving this charge far away if they have opposite signs for charges. So, um, this is the work done and uh, actually the work that I do is going to be storage as electrical potential energy, U, and this electrical potential energy then would be converted into kinetic energy because if I um, throw this, so I have, let's say that this is positive and this is negative. So they, they, are, they are tracked there together. I do some work to put it here. Now this work is converted into electrical potential energy. If I throw this, this charge is going to stick here. So it is converting into kinetic energy. So I have work to potential energy, uh, uh, electrical potential energy that is U, to kinetic energy. Now, um, so this is the, the work done would be force times distance, but what is the, the force? The force is by Coulomb's law, it is K Coulomb's constant times Q1 times Q2 divided by R squared. Um, then the work would be work is equal to the integral, the integral of the force that is K Q1 Q2 divided by R squared dot the L. So uh, the L means the radius. Uh, radius when we mean that the radius is the, the distance between these two. So the R. So actually we have that K and Q1 and Q2 are just constants so we can just take them out of the of the integral and write it as work is equal to the Coulomb's constant times Q1 times Q2 times the uh, integral of 1 over r squared dr. 1 over r squared is the same as r to the negative, two power, uh, negative second power. So this would be that the work is equal to the integral of this is just minus 1 over r, negative 1 over r. So I have that the work is equal to the negative of Coulomb's constant times q1 times Q2 divided by R. Um, well, this would be, first, this would be evaluated from um, if, if I'm taking these charges, if they're put together here, then I need to do work. So in that case, it would be evaluated from zero to infinity. But I could also see it, for example, if these both are negative, so the work that I need to do to put this charge close to this charge. So in that case, it would be from infinity to, let's say, this point, to R. So in that case, it would be, let's say, evaluated from zero to, sorry, from infinity to zero. 
and so I thought that the work done is equal to the uh, negative of Coulomb's constant times q1 times q2 times 1 over <coughs> sorry infinity to to r actually this r is uh, usually put in different notation than this so let me put this r, r capital r so so 1 over capital r minus 1 over infinity this is just zero just zero and so i have that the work that then would be the electrical potential energy is minus or negative Coulomb's constant times q1 times q2 times the distance at which they are going to be so divide that by r this is the electrical potential energy that then would be converted into kinetic energy <coughs> 